Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. on Sunday morning, and I just fed Miley because we're going to do a full day of eating, and we decided to include Miley because she's the first one to eat every morning. We are working on Memories Over Macro stuff, so that's why we're up so early. Uh, normally, we sleep until like 7.30, but um, we will show you what we're eating throughout the day on a cut for us. We made our oatmeal for after church, so our chotes as we like to call it. And then we also made our pre-workout because we go work out right when we get done with church. So now we're going to put Miley away, go to church, then we'll eat our oatmeal, then we'll take our pre-workout and we'll work out. Peanut butter, peanut butter. Come on, come in, cookie chin treat. Good girl. I won't really make it through church unless I have a protein bar or something. So I grabbed my favorite one, it's pure protein. It's chocolate salted caramel and it's the best ever. Look what it looks like. I eat those bars a lot. The reason is because they're only five fat, 19 carb and, no, no, 20 carb and 19 protein. So the fat is super low and that's what I like. We just got done with church and we brought our choats, our church oats with us. So mine has um, sugar-free apple cinnamon uh, oatmeal packet and then one scoop of vanilla protein powder. And Brad's has 60 grams of rolled oats and black onyx powder and one scoop of protein powder. So we're gonna eat these and then we gotta go work out. Oh. Oh, look at you. Um, so even though it is a full day of eating, I figured we'd also talk, talk about meal prep as well. So this is our air fryer. People have asked about it. It's an air fryer. I have a meat thermometer that I hook up to the biggest, fattest chicken breasts, and we cook at 475 until it's done, which internal temperature for chicken has to be 165. And then we have microwave cauliflower rice, and now I'm doing microwave green beans. I only have to make three meals since I work from home twice a week, and then I work I go to work three times a week. Um, and so I'll split up those two bags of cauliflower rice and those two bags of green beans into a Tupperware container with about six ounces of chicken. And then I buy like these 92 cent bags of iceberg lettuce mix um, that I put in my lunchbox. For, uh, they're from Walmart. And then the homemade dressing recipe that is on my channel uh, is what I use as my salad dressing. And then I'll usually put in two um, sugar-free jello cups they're like five calories essentially all protein from the gelatin so that's our meal prep and this is probably going to be our lunch so as soon as all this chicken and stuff is done we'll also eat lunch man this video is just packed full of great information Totes. i have some work to do for clients so um this is so lame but i'm gonna have another protein bar don't hate me don't hate me in the comments because I don't preach that you should uh, eat two protein bars in a day, but like I found this in Brad's car and I really want it, so it's happening. I think it's five fat, so it's another good fat, um, low fat bar. 27 carb and 20 protein. Protein plus cookies and cream. So you can see exactly what my lunch is like and kind of how I meal prep. Uh, I'll show you that right now. So this is the chicken that I just made, the green beans that I made in this bag, and the cauliflower rice. So I took those two bags of green beans, those two bags of cauliflower rice, and I split it up between these three containers. And then I also bring uh, two sugar-free jellos, my homemade dressing, and this goes in there, a little salad bag, and this, and I zip it up. So that's what I bring every day for my lunch and breakfast. I'll usually, um, about 10 o'clock, eat a scoop of protein powder, and then one packet of the sugar-free oatmeal, uh, brown sugar, Walmart sells it, uh, HB sells it, and then you can get it on Amazon if you can't buy it in those places. Brad made me lunch.
lunch because I've been upstairs working. Um, he meal prepped all his food and he gave me three ounces of chicken that was made in the air fryer and then 60 grams of green beans. I think these are microwave green beans, right? Um, and then banana peppers and Brad's salad dressing, romaine and some croutons. I have a mix of iceberg and romaine, some croutons, my salad dressing, and then I have seven ounces of chicken and about 150 grams of green beans, so. I'm gonna grab a pickle that I made in, uh, for the fridge. Um, if you didn't know that I make pickles, I make pickles now. But yeah, I had cucumbers growing in the garden and I didn't know what to do with them, so pickles it is. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just in the last week. It was all this, so I gotta make spicy pickles now. Something that I normally do is have dessert, um, but when we're cutting, obviously you have to find either macro-friendly things or find like a sweet hack. And for us, it's we like diet soda, so I'm gonna drink this Diet Mountain Dew. Um, yeah, I know it's like artificial sweeteners and all that stuff, but like I don't really care. Whatever. While the pizzas are in the oven, I'm gonna have the half a bag of a romaine salad that I had left with some of my homemade dressing, croutons, a cucumber from our garden, and um, hopefully the pizzas will be out soon. This is probably the saddest pizza you'll ever see me eat, but it's very good. It has some Alfredo sauce and buffalo sauce. It's on a Joseph's pita with some basil and one serving of mozzarella, fat-free mozzarella cheese. And then Brad's pizzas are four pitas. They have six ounces of chicken sauce, like a full cup of sauce between this and that. Um, two servings of fat-free mozzarella, some buffalo sauce, and that's it. I'm gonna eat this in two seconds. Stay tuned for dessert though, because it's gonna be a lot better than this. This is my protein ice cream. I have ice, half fair life milk, half cashew milk, two servings of the no sugar added bluebell ice cream, a serving of black cocoa powder, and a scoop of Run Everything Labs vanilla protein, and it kind of makes like a cookies and cream ice cream. I'm gonna blend that up, but Aubrey's gonna show you what she's snacking on before she makes her ice cream. A chocolate rice cake with one whole tablespoon of peanut butter and a caramel rice cake with one whole tablespoon of peanut butter. I never get this much peanut butter, but I was needing tons of fat, so ooh. It's because she had so many protein bars that were so low fat today. This is my protein ice cream. It's coconut. It has vanilla protein powder in it and only one serving of Bluebell. Um, but this is what ours looks like. I think the Nutribullet, Nutribullet helps uh, with getting it so thick and airy, but also using the right amount uh, or the right protein powder um, and not putting too much milk or ice in it. So factor that all in if you're making this at home and it's like really soupy. Um, but I'm gonna top mine off with cured nutrition right here, cinnamon honey. It's kind of salty, so it makes it really, um, just really good. <laughs> I put in like a serving and a half of cereal, a serving of mini chocolate chips, a serving of heath, and some honey on top, and the cinnamon honey cured nutrition. It is my favorite. I love ending my night this way, and that's how we're gonna end this video. So, my macros for the day were about 240 um, protein, 240 carbs, and about 60 fat. I'm cutting, so yes, they're low. I also have a pretty sedentary life because I sit at a computer all the time. My macros for the end of the day were 157 protein, 155 carb, and like 43 fat, which these are like low for me. Like, it's just very low so 
anyway we're trying to cut for august we're almost there that's the end of the video like it comment down below i don't know what you ate today i don't know comment down below something cool and you're worth it <laughs> you guys this is the best night ever because i forgot to eat my rice cake we're literally going to bed right now, and I was like, babe, your rice cake with peanut butter is sitting right here. Why are you gonna eat it? And she's like, oh, and she got so excited. So that's it. You're worth it.